Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I'm having a $5 sale. So each of the items or groups of items that I show will be just $5 each. Each item will have a number associated with it, and if you would like to purchase, just be the first person to put that number in the comments below. I'll reply back, let you know if you've got it or if someone else has already claimed it. Any questions you have, please put those in the comments and I will reply back as quick as I can. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, change it to all, so you'll be notified when I go live for my sales and when I put out more videos like this. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. All right, so I am going to start with a lot of um, doll clothes like Barbie and similar sized dolls and accessories. So I'm going to go through them kind of as quickly as I can. This is a little jacket. This one is Mary Kate and Ashley. We've got oops, a pair of pants, a pair of pants. This might be a homemade sweater, a hat, a veil for a larger, larger than Barbie head. Here is another very possibly hand crocheted little jacket. Move those out. I've got a pair of shoes and another pair of shoes. I've got a couple of little trees. Um, a pair of glasses, again, for bigger than Barbie doll. Um, not sure, maybe a, maybe a boom box of some kind. <laughs> Here is a dresser, the, um, let's see, the drawers open somehow. Yeah, the drawers open on this thing. <laughs> Here is a jacket or shirt. We've got gloves for bigger than Barbie. Here is a tiny tiny little shirt, um, some flowers, we've got a piglet backpack, and then this top, this has a little bit of damage, but it's older, it's got that zipper in it. All right, so for all of the doll clothes, so the whole lot of doll clothes, $5. And it is number one. So you're gonna get everything I just showed. Number one. Okay, up next, I have got a milk glass, daisy and buttons, the small top hat. Uh, let me get my measure over here. Uh, this is about one and three quarter inches tall. And at its widest, it is about two inches wide across the top. And even the top here has a nice little design on it. And for the milk glass, daisy and buttons, little top hat, toothpick holder, air plant holder. This is gonna be $5. And it is number two. Hey, an acro agate, little miniature cup, like a little kid's possible uh, teacup for a little tea party. This does not glow, but it really has some pretty coloring on it. Uh, this one is one and a quarter inches tall, and it is two inches wide at its widest. See if you can read that. That might be, or even if that is anything to read, that might just be where they gathered the glass on that one. 
This is going to be $5 and it is number three. All right, I've got a blown glass mouse. Really nicely detailed. He's got a little bow tie, cute little eyes. He's got a very long tail. That does help him stand up though. Uh, he is three inches tall. And the little white on his belly there. The blown glass mouse is going to be $5. And he is number four. Okay, next I have a pair. A little couple here. They were not originally a couple. He is marked Made in Occupied Japan. She does not have a marking on her. She has um, the little bit of material on her just to add a little bit of color to her dress. I'll get close up on her and her little parasol. Uh, she is just uh, three and three quarter inches tall. So she is a dainty size. This guy probably should be sitting at a piano or a harpsichord or something because of the position of his hands. Um, but I do not have the musical instrument he should be playing, but their faces look similar. And so together they are a couple. Uh, sitting down, he is three inches tall. And together they are going to be $5. And they are number five. So $5, number five for the couple. All right, next I have a pair of brass, I'm going to say vases, although I do think they could be candle holders also, uh, but really cute little bud vases. Uh, they are slightly different. Uh, this one is about five and a quarter inches tall. This one is just about five inches tall. You can see it's just a little shorter. The bases are different. And even the shape of the base itself, you can see this one is kind of domed a little bit. This one's a little flatter. One of them is marked India. Seeing if I could tell that way which one it is. Uh, oh, I think, is it right there? Yeah, it's right there where it says India. And for the pair of brass vases, they are $5 and they are number six. Okay, next I have two beautiful horseshoes these have never been used they are in beautiful condition i'm gonna say standard horseshoe size because i don't know i don't know um, if they come in different sizes but you can see they are really nice condition great for you to display above a doorway entryway um, in your little horse themed room, a man cave, lots of great places for these. Uh, they are going to be $5 each. So I do have the two available and they are going to be $5 each. And they are number seven. 
So if you would like number seven for the horseshoes, let me know if you would like one for $5 or if you would like both for $5 each. Okay, next up I have a bracelet. I have a couple of bracelets I'm going to show beautifully handmade beaded bracelets. This is the clasp. It's so pretty. I'm going to undo it here. Just slips right in there and I'm going to get a measurement on this. So this one is about six and a half inches and it is a beautiful collection of clear and ivory into kind of the cream colored. It does have silver tone spacers in it. And so this one is more of an ivory into cream colored, six and a half inches. This one is going to be $5 and it is number eight. Okay, the next one is a little more of a pale pink. I'm going to get in close and see if it's showing pink. It is a very, very pastel pink. Here is the clasp, beautiful clasp. And then it does have this fun pink one that hangs down. I'm going to get a measurement on this one. So this is a longer one. Uh, it is about seven inches, so seven inches on this one. Here is that beautiful clasp and pale pink and silver tone beads. And then here is the other end of the clasp. And then you get this really pretty, seeing if that has a coolness to it. Ah. I don't think so. I don't think that's a stone. I think it's just made to look like a stone. And for the pale pink bracelet, there we go. This one is going to be $5 and it is number nine. Okay, the next one is a little brighter pink. Also has a clear and silver tone on it. This one just has a, uh, just a standard clasp on it. Uh, measurement wise, this one is seven inches. So this one, I think these are gold tone. These are a little more into the gold tone and not the silver tone. A little brighter pink on these beads. And let me get that done up again. There we go. So seven inches. This one is more gold tone. The other two were silver tone. This one is going to be $5 and it is number 10. Okay, then I have, let's see, let's do this. So I have a very fun mid-century modern a nut bowl and little shot glass. There is a little bit of paint loss on this. Little bit. I'm going to spin that one around so you can see mostly just here on the ends. Little bit of paint loss on it. But a nice floral design for a mid century modern nut bowl. You can see there is a little bit of gold paint loss on the rim. And then we have the little shot glass. Again, very mid-century modern in design. And the nut bowl and the shot glass together.
are going to be five dollars and they are number 11. Then I have this really cute tin. This is an all season tin. It is marked on the bottom, Century Resources, Inc. On the top, it says, uh, let's see, where does it start? Right here. The seasons go, let's see, as flowers bloom, Nope, here we go. The seasons come, the seasons go. <laughs> As flowers bloom, so does love grow. And it looks like a cross stitch. And then all around here, so we're gonna start, let's see, I'm gonna start here. This is spring. So you can use this canister all year round, spring. Then we go into summer. Here is fall, and here is winter. So great to use this as a riser in your displays, and then just give it a turn as the seasons change. This is five inches tall, and it is a tin canister. Here is the inside. This one is $5 and it is number 12. Okay, next I have a basket. This is a Karen Traub basket. It does have the tag on here. It is from 2001. This was placed somewhere where unfortunately it did fade a little bit in the colors. So they are a little muted. You can still see that there are different colors in here, but you can see that one side is a little muted compared to the other side, and then the inside a little more vibrant. Um, it's a good sized basket. It is uh almost 12 inches long and it is about 11 inches tall and the width is about four and a half inches so almost 12 by 11 by four and again just a little bit of fading on this side and it is by karen traub Oh, here's the little medallion right there. So Karen Traub, this is going to be $5 and it is number 13. I just hit my ruler, but I didn't knock it over. <laughs> so number 13 on that one. Okay, next I have a couple pieces of Jasperware, Wedgwood Jasperware, they do have a slight condition issue with each one. Um, however, if you are a collector, these are great to kind of have as placeholders in your collection, maybe until you come across uh, ones that don't have a little chip in them. So here is the first one. I'll show it right there is the little chip. Here on the back, it does say Wedgwood Made in England. Uh, this is a nice big bowl at uh, five and a half inches across. So here is the first design. Here is the second design. And right down here on the bottom, there is a little chip. This one's not quite as noticeable if you're just looking at it from the top. This one also says Wedgwood made in England. And for the pair, so the pair of slightly damaged Wedgwood bowls, you're gonna get both of them and they are $5, number 14.
All right, then I have got a little collection of mice figurines. So we've got this little mouse. I don't know, He's pick, she's picking up something here. She's got the bread and the wine and the flowers and this really cute little dress. If she had a mark on her, I don't know what it is. Um, then we've got this little guy. Now he does have a condition issue right here. He's got a chip. And then he's got a chip on his ear also. But he is, oops. He is a merry, oh, oh, mouse tails. There we go, merry mouse tails. But he does have the little chip and the little chip. And then there is this cute little strawberry mouse. He is a happy little guy. So you're gonna get all three of the mice all three of them and they are five dollars five dollars for the set and they are number 15. all right then i have a collection of vintage postcards so these are walt disney world They are Walt Disney Productions. And we have a flamingo. We've got these cute little birds. They are all part of the bird sanctuary on Discovery Island. Here are these birds. And then here is a shot of Discovery Island. Okay, the other part of these are Bush Garden. So here is the back, Bush Garden. These are from the 80s. We've got the pandas. We've got a drawing of the pandas. Oops, there we go. Another panda. And the white tigers. So you are gonna get all of these animal themed postcards, $5, and they are number 16. All right, I've got another collection of postcards. These are also Florida postcards. Some of them do have animals. And on the backs, it does show what they are and where they are at. This is a pretty, looks like hibiscus flower. Bird of paradise. The pelicans. We've got Jensen Beach. more tropical birds, and then this kind of panoramic. This is the, oops, the Outrigger restaurant. And so you are going to get all of these postcards for $5, and they are number 17. All right, then I have some sheet music from the 1920s. There is this grouping. I think there are, uh, there might be five in this grouping. So there is one. These are all from the 1920s. Uh, this one is just the cover. Does not have the music, it just has the cover. This one is in a little rougher condition. Then we have 
and one more. So you are going to get all of these sheet music from the 1920s. Five dollars. And this lot is number 18. Okay, I've got another lot from the 1920s. So I will show the covers on these. That one. This one, I believe that there are five in here. And number five. And so you will get all five of these sheet music from the 1920s, $5, and they are number 19. Okay, one more batch. We've got In the Middle of a Kiss. And oops, this one held together with a paper clip. We've got this one. And then we have these ones I think are from the 30s. This one's from the 50s. We've got Eddie Fisher on this one. So this is a three pack. You will get all three of these sheet music, $5, and they are number 20. All right, so that is everything for the $5 sale. Again, if you would like to purchase anything, just be the first person to put the number that was associated with that item in the comments below. I'll reply back, let you know if you've got it or if someone else has already claimed it. Any questions you have, please put those in the comments and I'll reply back as quick as I can. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.